I'm gonna call that layer concrete wall overlay. I'm gonna open up the next document on our list, which is cracked wall JPEG. We're gonna do the same thing, which, which is not that. We're gonna drag from the picture itself and drag it right into the document. Control T. Never mind. Put that right there. And we're going to change this layer name to cracked wall. Cracked layer. It's the blending mode to multiply. Drop the opacity down a little bit. Nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it at 100. I drag that layer down. And we're going to open the next file on our list of things to import. We're going to grab our logo that we want to put in here. Your logo is definitely going to be different than mine. Drag that on in there. If you click the thumbnail while holding command, it'll highlight it. Fill that with a white. Command D to deselect. And I'm going to shrink this down with my free transform. Apply that. Move it around a little bit with the arrow keys. Name this layer logo. Drag it underneath, that way it looks cool. And now I'm going to find my inside layer and hold command and click the thumbnail to select. I'm going to go up to select the top and select inverse. That way I select everything but the inside. Hit delete. And I'm going to drag that layer down underneath the gloss. I'm going to put a stroke on my logo, a white stroke. Bump the size up. And I can already tell that I forgot to rasterize this layer, so I'm going to have to redo a couple of those steps. But first I'm going to fill this with the black so you can actually read it. And I'm going to go up to... I'm going to go up to image. No, layer. Rasterize. Rasterize layer style. And then I'm going to repeat the step of selecting the inside circle, select inverse, and hitting delete. Command D to select. And I'm going to open up the next thing on our list. Which I believe to be summer bushes. I'm going to drag that right on in there like we've been doing. Command T, make this a lot bigger. I'm going to apply that for now. And I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. I'm going to drag that layer down to the bottom. free transform this a little bit, rotate it a little bit, apply that, looks good. Command J to duplicate this layer. 
Command T to free transform, rotate that a little bit, make it a different size, skew it a little bit, bring that in, apply that. Oh, I'm going to move that a little bit, shrink it down a little bit more, make it look less uniform. Hit apply. I'm going to go back up to file open and import my vines document. Drag that in just like we've been doing. Command T. Do that. Drag it out. Put it off the side so you can see it, rotate it a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to apply that so I can go to my blending options and change that to multiply. And Command J after I position this, Command J that layer. Drag it over. Command T to tra free transform. Flip it around. Apply that. It's looking pretty good so far. The last thing I'm going to want to do is probably light this up a little bit after I change the layer names. I always like staying organized that way I can if I ever need to come back to the file I can kind of see what's going on so I, uh, I'll name all these vine 1, vine 2, bushes 1, bushes 2 and I'll create a folder for all my plant layers. I'll call this bushes and I'll drag those all into the folder close that folder that way it's smaller in that background And what I'm going to want to do now is go up to the top, click the top layer, create a new layer. And we're going to rename this layer to Dodge. I'm going to go to Edit, Fill. Fill it with 50% gray. Hit OK. I don't want to copy that layer and rename that one to Burn. Create a group, call it lighting. Drag both of those layer into the folder, and this has to be on the top, remember. And we're going to use the burn tool on our burn layer. And our dodge tool on our dodge layer. But we're going to switch those over those both to overlay. And we're just going to brush around the corners, kind of give it a little bit darkening effect going on here. Just keep brushing that in on the corners, making it look like it's uh, got some lighting going on here. And we'll switch to the dodge layer and then we'll switch to our dodge tool. And we'll just kind of brush in the areas that we want to brighten up with our dodge tool. Using mid-tones, then we'll go to highlights and shadows. And we'll kind of hit those little spots that look like they have a little bit of light there with the shadow brush. And there we have it. Look at the difference. Here's both lighting. Big difference. I'm going to go to File, Save As. 
And I'm just going to save this as bold.psd for now. If you want to save it, save it as a JPEG. Do what you want. There's your background for your retina. I will be doing more tutorials in the future, so feel free to subscribe. Thanks.